All right, uh, so I shot one video with a spectrophotometer and another one with a monochrometer. Uh, this is another uh, a spectrophotometer. Um, it's a uh, Ocean Optics uh, USB 2000. This is a very old model. And um, how this works is there's a, uh, a fiber optic input. So there's a port here in the front where the light goes in through the fiber optic and uh, enters this chamber. And uh, there's some mirrors in here where it bounces around, but basically it uh, hits a diffraction grating, which makes a rainbow. We saw that in the monochrometer. And that rainbow, um, with the other uh, spectrophotometer, we could rotate the diffraction grating so we could select what color comes out the other side. Well, uh, what this does is it takes that rainbow and it puts it onto a CCD. And so the CCD gets to look at that rainbow and break it up into a thousand different points and uh, it gets to output the rainbow and so you get to see real time uh, what the uh, fiber optic looks at so uh, we can look at uh, spectrum of light sources and uh, see what's uh, see what's going on it's a USB device that's why it's called USB 2000 uh, so um, it's a very old um, uh, machine and it's not compatible with Windows 10 any longer so I have a computer here that has, I think, uh, Windows. I don't even remember here. It's got an old, an old version of Windows. Let me uh, uh, see if I can figure out what uh, uh, computer. Uh, it is a. I forget how to do this now. <laughs> Shoot. I think it's a Windows 32 version. Uh, Windows, something or other, uh, control panel, oh heck, I don't remember how to do this now. Uh, system maintenance, uh, let's see here, uh, system, ah, here we go. So it is a Windows Vista Home Premium, uh, and uh, copyright 2007, service pack 2. Uh, it's an old uh, AMD Athlon. So anyway, it's a very old machine. Uh, and I keep it around just for this. Uh, so there's a program here, Spectra Suite. And uh, that's Ocean Optics. And you see that the, uh, the thing pops up. And we get a... Uh, We get an actual spectrum here, and if I take this and I point it at the lights above me, you can see uh, the spectrum of the lights. They're uh, LED lights, um, and uh, if I point it at the screen, uh, you can see the um, cold cathode fluorescent uh, spectrum. So we can look at spectrum real time, and uh, it's a very cool machine. And uh, you can capture it and do other things with it and stuff. But uh, for right now, uh, we're just going to uh, look at some look at some things. Uh, I think we can add ah, a little better. So, uh, so I thought what we'd do today is have some fun. Um, let me uh, oh gosh, let me reach around the camera here. Uh, just. All right, sorry about that. Uh, everything's in the way here. It's Christmas time, and the uh, garage is very messy. <laughs> so, um, I have some light sources that I've never measured, and I thought it would be fun to measure. So, let's take a look at what light sources these are. Uh, they are glow sticks. Uh, so, we will take some of these glow sticks and uh, uh, make them glow, and then we'll use our... Uh, our fiber optic and we can put the fiber optic right next to the glow stick and we will see the spectrum of the uh, of the light here so what I'm gonna do is uh, before I crack this open I'm going to turn off the room lights so we don't have any ambient light and then we'll get to measuring these things alright so we'll start with our first glow stick here I'll crack it open and uh, see if it glows these are really old old sticks so I don't know how active they are, um, but 
think you can see I think you can see that that's glowing now so this is a uh, kind of a greenish yellow uh, so uh, let's take a look at what greenish yellow looks like there we go we got a pretty broad hump uh, right at about 540, 550. It goes from about 500 and, oh, I'd say 530 to about 570, something like that. Pretty broad band. Uh, so these are uh, organic molecules, uh, and uh, they do tend to be very broad and messy in spectrum. Uh, you can see this one is uh, bigger. We can increase the uh, resolution here. There we go. So you can sort of see that. It goes up a little faster than it falls down. So it's going from about 520 to about 650. So something like that. All right. So that's the green one, the yellow, yellow green one. Uh, let's see here. What is this one? This one is not this is an orange one. Uh, so crack that open, shake it up. So the way these work is there's a glass glass uh, vial inside these, and when you break the glass vial open, uh, there's a chemical in in the glass vial, and there's a chemical outside the glass vial, and they mix together and they they start to glow. Uh, so put this one down so it's kind of an orangey orangey color there's some red in there too that hasn't mixed all up yet so I'll shake that around a bit more and let's see what that one looks like um, orange oops let's see here if I can. oh uh, how do I get oh there we go so you can see this one has a double hump. Uh, it sort of has a hump like the old one did, and then it has another hump which is around 600 and, uh, uh, 620, something like that. So uh, there are two chemicals in here. Um, looks like there's probably some of that chemical that we've already seen, plus a red, a red chemical. We sort of saw that when I broke it open. There was kind of a mixture of the two. You saw a little bit of the red. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. All right, next color. How about this one? Um, so this is a... Looks like a red... Oh, it looks kind of like a purple. Oh, there we go, purple color. See that? Um, this together best I can there we go okay let's uh, see what purple purple is um, and get it back on the screen there we go ah so purple is a mixture of red and blue so we have a, a nice blue uh, spectrum here from about 430 to 500 and then we have that other chemical, which was the red, what goes from 600 to 680, something like that. So, so we've seen three chemicals so far, uh, kind of a yellow chemical, maybe a green chemical, yellow green, and a red chemical, and a blue chemical. Uh, so that's how that one is made. Uh, let's see, we've seen... Now this one looks different, okay. This one looks like a, looks like a green one. So it's a definitely definitely green. It's not the yellow yellow one that we saw. This is a this is a, a green color. Oh, let's see what it looks like. Green, very bright green. Very nice, very nice bright green. Oh, there we go. Oh wow. Uh, so it's peaking out at about five ten, five fifteen, something like that, and uh, very narrow. Uh, seems narrow, a little, little bit narrower than the others. 
Um, so certainly a lot brighter than the others. So that's the green one. Uh, let's see, we have a one that appears to be clear. So this this one seems to be clear. So let me break it and shake it up. So it's a it's a blue color. So I'm gonna say, remember we saw that blue that was kind of around 400 to 500, and it kind of had a flat flat top. I bet you that's what this chemical is. Um, so let's let's take a look at that. Yeah, I think so. I think it's the same chemical. So, so far we've seen a blue chemical, a green chemical, a yellow-green chemical, and a red chemical. That's a blue chemical. And... Do I have any others? Let's see, that one's blue, that one's red, that one's... I think those are the only ones I've got. Yep, I think that's, that's my selection. So, um, here's our, here's all of our colors. And we had a red one, uh, orange. Let's see, what would we have here? Oh, we should have a red one somewhere. Let's see if I can find a red one. We have an orange one, a purple one, a yellow one, a green one, and a blue one. There's got to be a red one here somewhere. Let me crack this one open and see what it color it is. Yeah. So there we go. There's a red one. So let's take a look at red. That'll be all of the colors I've got. And um, that's the color. That's the... Oops, sorry. That's the uh, red that we've already seen before in the purple one. So here's... Uh, here's the red one, and here's the purple one. So it's the same chemical, uh, just it has blue in it also that makes it purple. So, yeah. Anyway, I thought it'd be fun. Uh, they're already kind of dying out. Uh, like I said, these are pretty old. Um, <laughs> years ago... You, you can buy these glow sticks really cheap if you get them online wholesale. Uh, you can buy a thousand glow sticks for, I don't know, less than a hundred bucks or something. I, for, I forget what it is these days. Anyway, I remember buying a thousand glow sticks and taking them to our um, 4th of July celebration here in town and just handing them out for free. <laughs> I probably undercut a lot of people trying to sell them. <laughs> I just handed it up for free. I had, had a thousand glow sticks in the audience everywhere. It's great. I had kids delivering them, you know, I was like the drug dealer, you know. <laughs> kids would run out and give away the give away the glow sticks. But anyway, I thought you'd enjoy that.